Hello, this is a tutorial for doing some drawings in Flash, and it's one technique of many. Um, I'm going to start with a drawing here. It's basically a 3D image of a treasure chest. Let's say I'm doing a Flash game and I want to have a treasure chest in my game. What I would do is I would put it on its own layer here, and then I would lock that layer so that I can't, you know, mess it up. Then I would add a new layer here, you know, and by clicking the plus, which is a new layer option. And I'm going to use that layer to draw on this layer. So I'm going to start with a line, and you know I can pick a color that I can see, maybe on this one a green. And I'm going to start here in the corner and just kind of draw up. Oh, that's because I have my my drawing my pencil tool is black, so my lines are black. Never mind that one. All right, so I can go across here, all the way across, and you'll see how it automatically tried to connect. Now I can go you know from here to that back corner and then down and then over okay and what I want to do now is I want to turn off my automatic my magnet tool here and if I was to go to like my arrow and uncheck my magnet and then go back to my line I should be able to now draw more freehand see how it's not locking into the points and click and drag down. You have to be a little more careful now that you're not on autopilot. And, you know, draw a thing here. Okay, now I'm going to try to leave some extra open space on purpose to do a little demonstration if I can remember to do that. Sometimes I get so caught up in being perfect. And in, in Flash, you don't really want everything perfect. You want it to kind of have a little bit of a handmade kind of a look, if that makes sense. Um, go here. And I think I'm just going to draw as if it's closed, which is going to be kind of interesting since I'm trying to trace, but we'll go for it anyway. All right, and I'm going to draw across the top. And, whoops. Maybe I'll just draw this line all the way across as well. We can always edit this later. Okay. And basically, if I was if I had the bottom layer now, I've got that shape, and I can use my pencil tool to kind of draw up and around. Now you can see how it's all kind of choppy there, blocky. If I check this box and turn it to smooth, and I draw my curve it smooths it out for me. Not perfectly, but whoops, that's a really bad one. But you can see it's still smoothed out. And I'm going to draw this one as best I can. And then I'm going to draw along here. <laughs> Thank goodness for the smoothing. Wow, my drawing is horrible tonight. Alright, so I've got that. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to draw some lines across here because you can see that I've got planks on my my chest here. And again, I'm just going to kind of draw them straight across and I'll tweak them here in a second. Now what I would do is I would go to my arrow tool and I would click and drag these planks kind of in a bowed shape. Alright. Now, um, let me go ahead and do another line across just because I want one line that's kind of straight so it gives that impression that it's curved. And then some lines across here. I feel a little silly tracing something while people watch me, but you know, I, I think you'll see what I'm talking about when I'm done. And then, you know, get creative with things like your now it's green, of course. I'm going to go back to black here. Get creative with things that, you know, you're making on here. And I'm going to go ahead and hide the bottom layer. And you can see I pretty much have a treasure chest. Now, if I wanted to color this, I can click my fill and choose something like, um, let's say I wanted my treasure chest red. Now, when I go to fill it, it fills this, but maybe I don't want it to fill the whole thing. I just want it to fill the end. You see this little gap right here? Right now, if I set this to close large gaps, 
and click here, it only fills that spot. If I had it to close medium gaps, it still makes it, and it's actually a little better, and then close small gaps, it goes all the way out to here. Sometimes you'll have a small gap, but like that one covered the whole thing too. Um, I usually try to leave it on close, whoops, I don't want to change color. I usually leave it on close large gaps, and you see these little holes in here? That keeps that from filling. So that's a nice little tool too. Um, so anyway, that's one method. Now, along those same lines here, this picture here, which again is just per not perfect, I, I did it in like three minutes, is just basically drawn on top of a photo. And sometimes you might just want a quick thing for a um, tutorial, I mean a, for a logo or something, or you might want to have it do a shape tween. And in case of like that, this would be a good use of that. So I hope this helps a little bit. I know it's not, you know, beautiful, but in five minutes, that's the best I could do. <laughs> Thanks a lot.